Hello again and welcome back. We were away for a short 10, maybe 15 minute break due to slight issues with our connection in the lobby. Um, we are back for MRC Expert tier rounds 8 at Silverstone and thankfully we are not having to redo qualifying. We have got that underway so we can now just focus on the main event, the race. I am, as before, rejoined by the English Scouse Br Brighton... Snail man. Say. I was going to say Bristolian, <laughs> but not quite Bristolian. <laughs> Portuguese descent, and to be honest with you, he's MRC's pitbull, Mr. Worldwide, Anton de Beck. He's hello, with me hello, today. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, everyone. I was doing my best Ferrari strategist impression. I was, uh, I was checking. I was we were checking. checking the settings <laughs> of the lobby. We are checking. Um, and I did a bit of a in 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 in. Stay out, stay out, stay out. Stay out, stay out. In, in in in. Okay, go. But, okay, uh, go. I had a bit of a moment like that, so. I apologise to everyone. Get in there, Rancis. <laughs> glad to have it all up and running. I'm glad to have yes, the yes. stream and Fingers everyone crossed. back with us. Um, but yes, what you may have missed or may not have missed, who knows, is that Sam Flan took a marvellous oh, pole yes. position in the Red Bull. It was only 9,000 ahead of the second place man, Fox River 8, and they are two of the three title contenders. Separated by six points overall, the other of whom, Martin Singletrack, is at the rear end of the grid. But that does not mean by any chance that he is written out of this race. And not Definitely for that matter not. is anyone else, of course. N Sorry, excuse me. We are now just waiting for people to select their setups and dial in their strategies. And then we will get the racing underway. So, and at this stage in the season, we have obviously three title contenders, but... You know, everyone still wants to fight for pride for their own teams to fight for the constructors and oh, to yes. for their own personal development so this race isn't a foregone conclusion between the front two by any means who have you got an eye on to take the flag and the trophy today um well we've got a bit of a of course of course i'm going to be biased but we've got a, a gas plan grid here we've got gas plan <laughs> We've got a number one Mercedes driver in P2, which... Uh, it's one position if, too low, frankly. If I'm not mistaken, is a very common thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, self-burns. Those are rare. <laughs> oh, <not> wow. <laughs> oh, that hurts. <laughs> Call an ambulance Anyways. for me. <laughs> 911, Anyways, what's your emergency? No. What I meant is that we've got a Mercedes up front and a Mercedes in P7. The, the Mercedes, who's not that usually good at qualifying. Do you not is... slander the Silverson slag? He is a very capable individual on a good day, and especially at his favourite track. On a very good day on a Sunday. <laughs> he's a very good Sunday driver. Not a sad... He's not Mr. Saturday. He no, he's not Mr. George Sunday. Russell. He's not George Russell. <laughs> So Bit gets some very decent results in the races. So in P7, he's starting way further up the grid than what he's used to. So expect him to be a serious player in this uh, in this race. And of course, we've got Martin down in P18 with Captain Nibs in P19. They are two of the big guns in this uh, in this championship. So you'd expect them to make their way up, and they are going to make it very um, uh, very spectacular. Indeed, I expect that home race for both of these guys. Uh, so of course, a battle at the front uh, with three guys, maybe Damanek as well, who's found some form recently. Uh, but yeah, at, at the back, it's going to be interesting to see how quickly they can get up to the front and how maybe a safety car could absolutely negate any disadvantage they have from their starting positions. Definitely, and as we found on Friday, one, two, or even six safety cars could even come into play and each and every single time that will definitely throw a spanner into the works for strategy a tire plan or even just a big gap that someone might have eaten out might just be negated but here we go cars on track this is wunderbar that is good um just to point out captain nibs and single track are out of position this is because of glitches and issues they had with tech during qualifying yes. fingers crossed they can make up for that in the race the weather will be set to, or has been set to dry, dry and more dry. So if you're a fan of waterfalls or going down to the river to pray, go somewhere else because we are definitely going to have a dry day at Silverstone today. Well, 
I think it's a very good thing that uh, Mark uh, isn't racing tonight. Then, if this is a dry race, he can't go through dry January or anything like that. So no, he's not capable. Martin says he's still having issues. If that's the case, Martin, please just retire now, and then hopefully you won't be an issue for anyone else. If that is the case, um, we'd hate for you to get stuck in some other tangles at the same time that would be a real disaster for everyone Monsters says he's aiming for a top 3 sorry a, a top 10 without any trouble um, well you know what Monster there's nothing wrong with that that's a good aim for anybody and mm -hmm. go get it yep. good luck to B17 from Kaiser Soze he says another blinding start would be good for you tonight well there's some support if you're ever going to hear it from our driver coaching manager Mr. Oh, Soze himself. Nice. Yes. Let's big up the uh, the man that is the Soze. You upset me the other day, Soze, when you said that you were considering not racing next season. You really upset me, and I want an immediate apology in writing saying that you will never do such a thing, or I will. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare crash into you. I would never do such a thing. Good, I will be angry with you. Um, so will Antis. So will Antis. That's your new name, and we are at the home of Lewis Hamilton, and Lando Norris, and George Russell, and Alex Albon, yes, and Oliver Behrman. And Oliver Behrman, of course. Yes, Oliver Behrman, the next big thing. Watch, yeah, watch and find out. Here we go. Oh, imagine that. We we could have Connor Hardy get in the bin. Year. You support QPR. Who? Sorry, Connor what? Hardy supports QPR just a heads up what? for everyone oh he's yeah, put, yes of course yeah the hoops yeah. he supports the hoops anyway <laughs> well, let's focus on the race we are about to get going we'll focus on tyres and such once the race gets up and running but we have got an awful position for the for the front of the grid yeah, and we've got some glitching oh wow least. we've got some <laughs> here we go and the lights oh, are out, but the drivers aren't moving. Oh, now the drivers are moving. Here we go. And it's a great start from Sam Flan. An even better one from Fox. He's up the inside. Turn one. He's going to between the two. Ooh, Fox has a good track, but they survive. And Jay Sarge is stuck in the collision. Jay Sarge is a collision. And that's Nick Dittie's round to have the collision with Jay Sarge. Oh, that was a chaotic start. Game. What a chaotic start that was. Yeah. Jay Sarge, Nick BT coming together very early on. Sarge looking at the inside of those front two on the way into turn one, and that's really cost him. He's dropped down the P10 behind his teammate. Captain Nibs up to P8, now P7 from the back of the grid. What a wow. start from the yeah. Nib man. I mean, I was saying to look out for Nick. Of course, he's had that incident, but Captain Nibs. Oh! Damalek, by the way, he's up to P2. He's took at Fox River. B17 up to P5, Dondej up to P6. Let's get the position change on the screen, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. There's some big movers and shakers early doors. Fanning down eight places. Scotch is Ninja down 11 places. Nicky T down 10. Sarge down six. That's They are some big movements from those guys there. But the biggest game... Ever, sorry, go ahead. Have you ever gained 12 positions in, a, in just one lap? Yes, on Friday. Oh yeah, Friday. I did on Friday and then I got yeeted into a corner and I saw them all get taken away from me again. But by the way, Freedy Olsen has made up 10 positions from last on the grid. He's up to P10. Please put some respect on the man's name. He's a man who's got pace and if he's going to stay out of trouble, he's going to be in for a good result even though he's just a tier 3. Uh, oh, just a tier 3? We don't say things like that. He's a member of MRC. That's all that matters. Now then, Sam Flan has broke the one second gap to Damalek and P2, who has broke the gap as well to Fox River. He's closely followed by Airways and B17. B17 looking hungry with his Lewis Hamilton inspired helmet there. I like that. Oh, I didn't notice. Oh, yeah, shame for Martin. I, I was about to say in, in the build up to the race, um, Martin is, of course, third in the championship, just yes. six points behind the leaders, but he's the only one of the top three he's missed the race ah well he's about to oh, he's taking a so, DNF here so yeah of course it's basically another missed race for him it's out of his powers but he's only within six points with having missed a race so 
Still doesn't impressive. Still doesn't discount him out of this championship, even though he's going to be probably 15, 16 points behind at the end of this one. Indeed. By the way, Captain Nibs, who's up to P7 from the back of the grid, having a look at the inside of Dondage, Dondage even, making the soft tyre really work for him. Let's get on the tyre straps, and it, there is single track has left the sessions, probably for the best. He probably will be upset with that, but like you said, he's Mr. Race and still in contention. But look at Captain yeah. Nibs on the inside of Dondage, three club corner across the line, and a little bit of rebellion, but he's free. Just wide, though, so he'll let at least a, a warning here. Indeed, and Dondej needs to get himself going because he's now got Carl, the hobnob Bitty Edens, all over the rear of him too. Sponsored by Dasplan. And just just ahead of this battle, by the way, is B17, who was running very quick to start with. He still is, but he's definitely been caught by this bundle of people. Yeah, um, well... He is uh, overachieving at the moment because, of course, Nibs and a few drivers could still finish ahead of him at this point. Yep. But he's only two seconds away. Yeah, he's definitely. He's keeping it steady. If if he can just let Nibs go through and just... Sorry, just follow him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> that was, was that a little cough that just came out of you there? Nothing more? Yes. Yeah. Um, speaking of... And, um, Words beginning with an F. Fox Riverbar is caught up to Damalek. DRS now activated, of course. But the other Mercedes is the one making the move! And he that is... showing the power of this car. The Mercedes car. Full potential. This is what happens when you fully activate Das Plan. Mm. I mean, yeah. When it's the home race and... Yeah, everything, everything's aligned. Everything's it all aligned, comes together. So yeah, so no. he's still within uh, DRS range of the cars ahead of him. He so is. Nibs has only taken B17, by the way. Good. We're about to see a bit of Carl and Carl action. Ooh. It's a bit of Carl and Carl action, eh? That's... Yeah, it's the Carl Iso. <laughs> the <laughs> Carl Classico. <laughs> Carl Asico. <laughs> oh, wow. You all look a bit of Carl and Carl, eh? Carl Isico. This could yeah. get juicy between them. <laughs> and Dondedge has got the perfect view to watch this, so... You just need to stick with them, because you never know. When people battle, mm. they lose time, they sometimes run wide, they make mistakes, and that leaves an opportunity. So, mm. Dondedge, keep with it, you're doing well, and if anything happens, you are ready. Nibs has not pulled away, so... On this lap, maybe we're seeing the limit of the soft tyres starting to fade. The medium is yeah. coming on strong. Um, and here we go, B17 lining up Mr. Nibs himself. Captain Nibs has got a fanboy in the YouTube chat. We'll say hello to the fanboy, the groupie, shortly. Rumour has it the fanboy is a man of the fate, is a friend who likes a certain devil's lettuce. Um, and that's all I'm going to say on the matter. Oh, right. I'm guessing by the name, that's very, very obvious. And here we go, B17 doesn't get a move done in the final sector, he's still close, so on the Wellington straight we could see a bit of action between these guys. But just ahead of them by the way, just looking at the front three, sorry the front four, Sam Flan just eking out, he's two and a bit seconds ahead now, three of Damalek, who is almost a second ahead of Fox, who doesn't seem to be really hanging on to him, he's more at risk of airways behind him than he is of putting a move on Damalek. Yeah, it looks like... And here comes Carl on Carl! Oh! We just saw a bit of Carl on Carl! Here we go! He's trying to do the, the switch back here, and oh, he's got a very Oh, that exit. is a very good dash plan overtake from Carl. Will really he get it nailed into... Oh, no. Ooh. You can't stick a wheel up the inside of Cops. But he does! Ooh. Oh, no worries! He's going to the switch back! Whoa, this is great action try. between the Carls. That was a, it was a very good try from the Nick Schumacher number of <laughs> And I'll tell you what, B17's that out of ERS. Carl is very low on his ERS, you can see on the steering wheel. He's going to have a look at the inside. No, he thinks better of it on this occasion. Nibs giving DRS here to both of them means that it's hard for Carl to pass Carl. Oh, B17's in a big moment. 
<laughs> into court and he's sliding everywhere. It's, it's like he's on a pole might. slapping it around. He's feeling the might of, of this Mercedes behind him now. Yeah, this this is what happens when you mess with Das Plan. And oh, Carl is wide up the Abbey chicane. That's the only going deeper Abbey anyone wants that anyone wants to hear about before Ryan Barber comments anything to do with that. As, uh, as in front, uh, well, further up front, uh, Fox is a bit closer to Dominic, but Dominic has got so much straight line speed. He's pulling away when Fox has got some DRS. So that implies that Fox is either very high on the wings or Damalek is scarily low. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go with Fox being high Could on the wings, not anything Dominic else. Dominic isn't leaving that much time in sand plan. No, so... And he's just hanging within DRS when it matters. He finds time with a high speed, but I think he might drop out of it here. Oh! I think he's got it just... Tight. Yeah, he's got it. Now he's got it back here. Nick's recovered nicely as well. He's down yep. in P9 right now. Uh, There's a long way to go, though. A long yeah, way yeah. to go. He can make some more places, I'm sure. Yeah. He's in a, bit, in a bit of a no man's land right now, so it's going to be very hard to make some positions back up uh, because, yeah, he's got no uh, DRA. Um, it's looking good. He'll soon be hitting the limit of his uh, soft side. Yeah. So we'll be thinking about taking uh, some punches. Yeah. One man who's not recovered from that early setback at the start is Jay Sarge. Down is 16th on the hards. He's not really in a position to battle anyone right now. He's kind of yeah. on his own, so he's not having a good race. Fanning and Monster will all, and Ghost Rider will also really stay in the same sort of thing. A safety car is what they need. By the way, in this Carlito Classico, they are still stuck on the back of Captain Nibs. His sauce are starting to really hold him up now, and these guys are definitely wanting to get past. Yep, he's dropped uh, about two seconds in the last few laps. Yeah, Airways uh, is running away. So We've got a Haas round. Ooh. And, yep, all is good. The Haas is all tidied it's up. Around. Yep. So, yeah, se seven laps in, and we've only got zero safety cars when on... Why have you opened three? your mouth? <laughs> Fermi <laughs> Labouche, see, <C> vous play. <laughs> Why have you got to run your mouth like this, Anne? This is why, <laughs> this is why we can't be friends. This is why I went to Disneyland this when I came to friends rather than seeing friends. you. I mean, We're what? Step <laughs> Stop it, you! Oh, and B17 into Stowe gets a bit twitchy. He's all over the back of Nibs, and well, he's hungry for a bit of Nibs. That's the comment we're going to go for. He's going to nibble on this. Indeed. Now, strategies, obviously, we're, we're coming up to the point where strategy is going to come into play. Mm -hmm. One stop is the quickest strategy here. If you want a two stop it, you're going to need a gamble on a safety car, really, or, well, just be rapid as hell. It's not likely to work without some safety cars. No, Medium hard is safe bet. Oh, and by the way, yeah, B17 had a huge hard, moment. B17 is vulnerable as bits coming along the inside of him with that Das Plan wow. power. And yep, Brit Sadie's passes Ferrari. Yeah, we've assembled. We are coming. <laughs> <laughs> Elites here, watch out. This is just the warm up. Um, and obviously, we've got obviously Fox River and the other Brit Sadie's in P3. He's starting to drop a bit more off the back of Damalek, mm. who's also dropping off the back of Samplan in P1. He is. A good uh, bit of air time uh, to our race leader. Mm hmm. Um, that's enough Red Bull for my day. There's no yep, more of that, yep. thank you. Definitely. Uh, Grant is round again in the other half at Brooklands and Woodcut. And yeah, ooh, oh, we've got a Ferrari round! B17's dropped it at the Chapel Corner. Oh no, he was doing so well. Oh, Carl, we're enjoying a bit of yeah. Carl on Carl. Yeah, who won't be the last time this season? No, the two no. Who, who massively and be the Nick B.C. is really close now. He's getting in on the section, so he's in the back of Don Dedge in the Alpha Tower. Mm -hmm. And I think he could be making a move this lap if he... Oh, look how quickly he's caught him through the first sector. Oh, he's having a look at the inside! 
that's a bold move from Nick. He knows how to really offset a driver with an early lunge, and there's a good example of it. Here we go. He yeah, uses. Yeah, I'm very used to trust as well. So yes, yeah, confidence in the man. Yeah. And Nick, I think he's gone a bit too aggressive there, because that's crossed him down the Wellington Strait. He's fallen a bit back. If he could have stopped edge, he will be free to attack a bit, and then Nibs as well. That's if his tyres hold up. Yeah, well, he's just been very good at that one. Yeah. Oh, oh Ninja, Ninja is, oh, in oh, is in the pits. He's in the pits. Yeah, yeah. I think he's had a few spins and I think he's decided to call it a day. Good evening, Mandy. He says good evening all. Hello, you know. Bonsoir. Right. Unless you're in Australia, then it's Bon Matan. Here we go. Right. Nick BT on the outside of Dundage into Stowe. And yeah, yes. nice and easy move, really, with DRS. Just behind them, we've got a few cars battling, which include Freddy Olsen, Smith, Beefy, and Jaxter. Dondez trying to come back at Nick BT. Yeah, Nick's got no ERS, which is not going to help him on the Wellington Strait. But he gets a good run out of this complex here, out of the village and farm. He will fly. Oh, Nick's very twitchy. He's round. And there's a kill. Oh, that's oh, no. unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Uh, Dondage didn't really have much chance to avoid him. Nick goes round. And yeah, Dondage will have damage. And he's dropped yeah. all the way down to 11. Nick down to 12. The only silver lining here for <laughs> him is that this is lap 10. And yep. if, he beats, if he beats now, of course, it's an early pit stop. But... It's not massively early, it's not a, yeah. a third a third lap pit stop. He can still make it work from here. He can go to the end really is what you're yes. saying. Yes. Now, Airways, you mentioned he's been impatient. Let's focus on the, the baguette man mm -hmm. in the Alpine. He's cut the P4. Looking at the back of Fox River's Dust Plan Britsadies. And what a view that is, by the way. Um Fox is very much out of ERS and flashing his way around the lap with the lack of battery. I think Airways is playing a clever game using this CRS to drag him sorry, DRS to drag himself along, save his own ERS. Mm -hmm. Looking at soon we can see he's got plenty. Yeah. He's gonna attack when someone else picks and then use his ERS on the following lap. I think. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think well, that's I've what got, his plan I've is. Got a bit of uh, radio from uh, Airways. <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur. Où est la boulangerie? Où est la boulangerie? Is this the way to Disneyland? Je suis allé en Disneyland. Ah, Disneyland. Je suis le gars. Je suis le gars. Je suis le gars. Je suis le gars. Je suis le man. Um, yeah. Merci pour le. Uh, I forgot the words. I can't remember. Anyway. C'est pas grave. C'est pas grave. Ah, we have a race to commentate. Come on, let's. So, sorry, but let's focus. That's uh, one. We have a. Yes. So back to the Dash Plan British Grand Prix, sponsored by Brit Sadies. Yes. Um, so we are coming up to the end of lap 11, and as you can see on the mini map, Sam Plan now four seconds ahead of P2. Oh, yeah. This little battle here between Fox and Airways is just. just starting to get a little bit hotter. Airways slowly mm -hmm. getting closer. Nibs. Looks a bit, he's a bit distanced right now. Him and Bit are kind of calm and composed, nothing really going on. Boothy mm -hmm. ahead of Jackster, who's now looking vulnerable by the way to Smith in the other Alpine. As Nibs pits on the soft tyre, yeah. and so yeah. does Smith in the Alpine. This frees up Freddy oh, Olsen. Freddy will now have an attack on Jackster. He's on the hard tyre, by the way. Me the mediums will start to go off shortly. Mm -hmm. This this is one of the most interesting points of this race, and Boothy gets a three second penalty. Um, yes. This Naughty is the boy. point where everybody will be thinking, okay, when am I going to pit? Am I yeah. going for an undercut? Am I going to try the overcut? Am I going to wait for a safety car? This is gamble this is time. your time, this yeah. Is the Grand National. Now, personally, I would say if you're 
if your tyre wear is bad or if you're good on the hard tyre, this is the perfect time to drop the medium tyre, get in the pits, lap 11, lap 12, put the hards Absolutely. on. Yes, the last couple of laps you might be a little less optimal grip, but the undercut is so strong here that you throw the whole grid into pitting a lap earlier than they want to, and you'll gain a couple of seconds in the process. If they don't pit, they are really, really in trouble when you are lapping. So this is where don't be surprised to see Fox or Airways fly into the pits. So let's jump to the front and see whether any of them do. And Airways Ooh. does. Airways that was a going. very late call. He yeah. was clearly he got the team call to do the opposite to Fox. He does pit then. Bits continues. Bits does not pit. Goofy, who has a bit of a questionable line through stay there, doesn't pick, but Jack still in the, in the Red Bull does. So bit of a battle, by the way, between Jay Mayer and B17, just through Stowe, and mm -hmm. B17 does go for the undercut. He's pissing. Um, Captain Nibs done in P12. Oh, just we've got an out. We've got Freddy's round. He's dropped it at club. He has. Oh, Freddy, that's a shame. I was saying, uh, Captain Nib P12, um, he's just down his teammate, so it's going to be interesting to see if he's being held up or if uh, Sarge will help him do um, the younger man. Yeah. Well, from what we've seen in Discord, Tabith, I'm going to give Sarge a bit of credit for once, and I can't believe him doing this. He does play the team game when his teammates engage with him, and Nibs has engaged with him in comments. I will expect Sarge to give, there you go, give his team a nice wide berth. And good, good, good. That's there you go. Need. There's the McLaren Super Plan. It's not quite Daft Plan, <laughs> but the McLaren Super Plan in full flow. It's Captain the Marley Plan. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sarge, you just need to drive faster and be less rubbish. I think <laughs> that's the words you need to do. Um, love you really, Sarge mm -hmm. Ibarji. Now then, interestingly at the front, we've got Sam Flan and the Fox River in to the pit. Da Damalek will continue and take the lead of the race. It's not that bad at all. No. Nope. Bit continues. That, he's got, definitely got the pace to stay in, in the top two in this race. I, I'm worried that if there's no safety car, this could, uh, this could hurt his race. Yeah, I think you're right. I think... This is really, if you're on the medium tyre, you need to have pitted now. The alternative is you're waiting on a safety car or you're going to go soft later on. I, mm. it's just, but neither, neither is an optimal strategy. Yeah. Jay Murr comes out just ahead of those, well, of those of the Fox, but crucially behind Sam Flan, who's in a nice bit of clear traffic. So a nice bit of clear air, no traffic, got a nice eight and a bit second gap ahead of him to Boofy. Mm. Uh, but Captain Fox had the fastest lap on the 129 so Not a bad lap. Not a bad lap uh, at all. Fox in P7, he's got a couple of seconds, no, a second and a bit to Freddy ahead of him, who is yet to pit. Um, and he's got a bit of pressure from Airways behind. Obviously, those two were fighting before the stop. Airways made the pit stop and did not gain the position. So that undercut did not work for him. Mm. A bit surprising, really. But he will have tyre advantage still for this lap and his Fox is getting his tyres up to temperature and getting his bearings for the new grip. Airways, you need to invest in using that right shift pad. You're very high revving through some parts of the track. You need to shift up a little bit earlier, you'll find some time. Bit pits from PC. Fox is making a move on Freddy. I don't think Airways is going to get him and that's crucial for this battle. And Freddy lets him go. I think he, there's a man who just doesn't want to intervene in the in the fight between those guys. Very respectful. Bits leaves the pit lane as his teammate yep. comes round the final corner. Hard tyres. Yeah. So he's, got, he's gone for a Nance strategy here, doing more laps on the softer tyre. He's on the harder tyre. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say nothing about that, here. but it's a bit of a it's a bold call. Now then, McBitty's hobnob is in P8. And you don't need to be happy with this. Because yeah. Well, oh, this um, there's two yeah. three drivers ahead that need to pit still. Two of whom exactly. he should jump. So who's six on the cards for Carl? Mm -hmm. This fight well, between Airways yeah. and Fox—that's the one that I'm getting excited by, though. 
Yeah, it's a bit of a, there's a bit of a time bomb in this one. Airways is just waiting for the right moment to count. Indeed. Here we go. Let's stick on board and see if Airways goes for it with DRS. He shifted up this time before Magnus and Beckett's and Damalek hits from the lead. It's such a long pit lane here that he's going to definitely drop behind Samplan. I think he'll also drop behind the Fox and behind Airways. Yep. I think he's gone too long. I think Damalek's going to go for the soft, you know. Briefly pits as well. Yep, Damalek goes soft. He he's Very going good. uber aggressive on the strat. So, Airways with a fastest lap, 29.8. Just marginally pips the lap by Captain Nibs. Oh, we've got a McLaren round in the final corner. It's Captain it Nibs. Nibs. He's in the gravel. Uh, and that promotes Carl and Nick for a position. Oh, uh, oh, he's got a glitch penalty. Be, yeah, that could be looked at by the steward. There's no yeah. way that should stand. Yeah. That's a bit of a weird one. Now then, Damalek is two seconds behind the Fox and Airways battle on the softs. Mm -hmm. He should catch these guys. And he should catch them fast. It's whether he... He gets past them. Yes. And that's where it's really hard. The DRS train is pretty strong here. Yeah. Uh, Airways... So it, it could hold him up. Yeah, Airways is very much sat here all race. Been very happy just to sit behind Fox all race. Whether he's actually happy there, whether he's just playing the mega strat of waiting till the last lap for the move. <coughs> I I think at some point now that you know Damalek's coming, you've got yeah. to attack Fox. Fox is out of ERS by the way. Here we go, is Airways making the move? He goes to the racing line, Fox is on the inside. Round the outside goes Airways. Through goes Airways. Who goes Airways is? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It, it's it's not Air quite Waging. the same as not quite the same as Who goes Hamilton, is it? <laughs> but the gap is still very close, so Fox will benefit from the DRS on the next break. Another gap that's a bit juicy is Nick VT is now within a second of Carl in the other Mercedes. He's got medium tyres as opposed to Carl's hards. Nick will have to pit again, I imagine. Um, these mediums he's on six laps old and we've got ten laps to go. That's a bit of a stint he's going to have to do on them. Yeah, they are going to be stretched. Uh, Bit has got the, the upper hand right now. He's got the fresh yeah. five um, and he doesn't have a penalty. Yeah, Jay so started with a fast lap. Good lap. Mm -hmm. Pretty still hasn't pitted, by the way. He's definitely waiting on a safety car. Airways hasn't um, opened that one second gap just yet. And behind them, uh, Damanek, our resident He's pole, coming. Uh, he's going to have to bring out one of the great Robert Kubica performances. He has it in him. It's whether he can deliver it when the pressure's on. And uh, right now, he's that gap of 1.5 seconds. Yep. Yeah. But he's still holding on. He's high. Not mm -hmm. deep yet. Here we go. Nick BT on bit. If you go down the hangar straight, he's got DRS, he's run out of DRS. Carl using a little bit of DRS, I imagine, to stay ahead. Oh, very yeah. close from Nick with a big lunge into stay. Freddy finally dives into the pit lane. Are we going to see contact between Nick and Carl? This is so close between the two of them in the braking zones. Nick hungry on those mediums to get the move done. He's got to get the job done before his tyres go off. Biffy needs to keep his focus. He knows what he's doing. He is an inducted member of the Brit Sadie's Death Plan organization. He knows what to do. He's he probably got 15 people all cheering on for him in, in that party as well. So. Yeah, he definitely does. Here goes Nick BT with another lunge into Brooklyn's perhaps. And he's up the inside and Bit knows not to attack back at Nick. And he takes a nice simple pass with DRS. Bit will surely know with those tyres, Nick is vulnerable later in the race. Jax has gone through, um, sorry, Nibs has gone through on uh, Jax, I don't know when that happened, but... Uh, 
He's only three seconds behind Carl, and considering that Nibs not that long ago was ahead, he's clearly using that pace to come back. He wants to recover this race. He's had a hell of a drive today, considering the qualifying issues and the spin, yeah. and then the drama at the start that he made so many positions. And what a story he's had today. And he goes wide at Chapel. Oh, that was a track limit, so I just yeah. caught that on stream. Uh, and the other thing Mercedes is under attack from B17. J Sarge is vulnerable to the Ferrari. Damanek is unable to, to catch up to the one second gap for the moment. Indeed, and Captain Nibs is pissing, by the way. Uh, it, it's just... Yeah, he's retired. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. Oh, that's... Right. Um, that's a shame because so that 10 second penalty would have been removed and could definitely have had some pretty good points today, but yeah. Yeah. Um, moving on, uh, Sam Flam is still leading, so let's give him a bit of air time. Yep. Yeah, yeah he's, he's inhaled and we can just go through other drivers now. Yep, good stuff. Um, to be fair to him, to be fair, he kept that gap consistent. He's not pushing. He's just carefully, carefully yeah. bringing that car home. He knows he doesn't need to push. Save the battery. Yeah, Airways and Fox is still a bit juicy, and Damalek is just on the edge of the second barrier. The thing is, his tyres are going to be past their peak now. They're going to be degrading worse than everyone else's around him. So his strategy really hasn't quite worked. Yep, that's a shame. And, okay. and Nick VT is not breaking, not breaking that one second gap to Bit. Bit's got DRS just hanging on to the back of the Alpha Tauri. So that's potential P5 for Bit on the cards. Nick having a good result after some dramas at the start when he and Sarge came together. Still yep. in the mix for the top five positions. That's a great recovery drive from him. What could have been for so many of these drivers? We've got Captain Nick who has. A pretty nightmare circumstances drive, but a very yeah. good drive on his own. Uh, single track with, yeah, yeah. EV sports issues. It's in the game. Um, and Nick, yeah, with that first lap incident, so many drivers could have had some very, very good results here. Indeed. Boothy and Jackson, um, by the way, getting a little bit freaky through the first sector. Look how close. We would never see an Alfa Romeo and a Red Bull this close in real life. This is why MRC is better than Formula 1. <laughs> and here we go. Boothy up the inside of Jackster. And that, everyone, is what should happen in real life. That is how you overtake a Red Bull. Max Verstappen, be scared. Boothy's coming for you. The man from Rotherham. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, oh, Fox River, by the way, he's just overtaken Airways. Fox River's Ooh. up to P2. And, and, and you're right, Bit is playing a clever game here because he's just sitting behind Nick. Playing the clever game, he doesn't need to pass him, he just needs to sit there. He's yeah. pretty safe from the cars behind who have penalties. The cars ahead are probably too far ahead to consider a battle. Yeah, yeah, 16 seconds on this track. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed, this fight for the top four between second, third, and fourth is just. It's just going to get a little bit more dicey every lap. Let's sit on board with Damalek as he watches Airways and Fox attack each other. The problem he's got is he needs to use the soft before they go completely. Yeah, yeah. And he can't. He can't use them. Expecting to make me as soon as he can because. Ooh, he's he's taken very there. different wide lines to try and find anything. Uh, okay, yeah, he's not yeah, so he was trying to go for the mega apex. Yeah. Um, exit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Don he's retired. He's in the pits. Oh, Ooh, very wide there from Airways at Cops. He's got away with it on this occasion. Let's have a little look. Got a time penalty. Yeah, indeed, but there's still pride on the line. This is two drivers who definitely, definitely want us to prove themselves and have something to fight for at the end of this race. So, 
crack on, lad. Let's see what you've got. Aston Martin versus Alfa Romeo. Ooh, Ghost Rider with a huge moment into Brooklyn's really lost control of the car under braking, and Monster looked at the inside. And it's a great switch back by Monster. Didn't quite get the drive in the exit, though, and um, Ghost Rider runs away. Airways for three seconds. That's the potential podium blown, but Monster's on the inside of Cops. Ghost Rider runs wide, just keeps position. Monster will be on the team radio screen, and he's got to give me that back. Yeah, that airways penalty is going to be vital in the podium fight for the remainder of this race. That could just about give Damalek the position. And Monster now up the inside takes the position from Ghost Rider. That's P15. Let's get back to the airways, Fox, Damalek, Toshi. Now then, airways. Are you going to fight? We're going to let Damalek take what will be the other position and fight Fox. How is he going to play it? Airways is going to have to find a way of bringing these two guys into a fight in between each other. Try and, and pull away from them, but with four laps remaining and three it's seconds tough behind, ass. it's such a tough ass. If I was Airways, I would be considering letting Damalek have a go at Fox because you've got a big gap behind from McVT, so you're not at risk of losing position. I would okay. consider that right now, okay. because if Nick, sorry, if Damalek and Fox fight, something could happen. They could push each other mm -hmm. off track and get track limits. They could crash. They could just push each other wide. I would consider that, because I don't think he's got the pace to run. He might be able to pass, but he can't run away. DRS is too powerful at this stage in the race as well. Yeah. He's got to be careful here, he's uh, 1.6 seconds behind his mix. Yep, you don't um, want to lose that 3 second gap. Yeah. Oh, he's got yeah. a huge yeah. amount there though. Well. Just like that, it's like he, it's like he heard you. Yeah. Fanning's the least to pick up a time penalty. That's a Down in P14. Nail in the coffin, friends. Yeah, and oh, he's oh. lost it at Stowe. That's unfortunate. Oh, a bit of barty action between Sarge Barty, Jackster and Smith for P8, 9 and 10. Jackster and Sarge had a few collisions in Hungary a few races back and Sarge clearly not afraid to make a move again up the inside of Cops. Takes Jackster for P8. Jackster looking to do the switchback, hasn't quite worked on this occasion. Sarge after that first lap pit stop, back up to P8. A respectable return. Boothie ahead of the three second penalty. So Sarge, you've got Two and a bit laps to find just over two seconds to take P7. Challenge for you, Mr. Sergeant. I think even P8, he'll be happy given the circumstances. He'll, he'll push for that P7, it's I think it's with, possible. Yes, he will. He will. He will push for it, but um, given that it's a race without a safety car, there hasn't been a reset of the race. Yeah. Um, he was right at the back, so he'll be happy that he's managed to get so many positions up. Indeed. Just a quick little notice, we haven't looked at the YouTube chat for a while. Hello to Mark Hello. Dennison. Good to see you, my friend. Hello. Uh, he's, he will be doing commentary, making return to comms alongside Connor, who returned to comms the first time since his operation, which would be great oh, to yeah. have you both back on comms. They'll be doing the commentary in just 21 Indeed. minutes' time for the Elite Slash Tier 1 tip, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we don't have much practice time, do we? Um, what's practice? I mean, it worked away for me last Monday. <laughs> yes, it Turn did. up and go. We should do the same. <laughs> and here we are with just over two laps to go. And we're looking at, still, this fight for the podium. Airways doesn't want to give up. Damalek, it looks like he's just struggling to hang on now with these soft tyres. And um, Fox will be loving this because it gives him an easy way to PT. The only thing he won't love is the fact that his title rival, Sam Plan, is leading the race and almost certainly out of reach. Fastest lap, by the way. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Currently, it's Joe Sarge with 28.7. Oh, okay. I don't think anyone's going to take that from him. Um, he'll be looking just to get seven from the fastest lap, and that would be a, a great return, really. 
Yeah, I can't see him driving at the back. Uh, yeah, Sarge, by the way, is within the penalty gap for Boothy, so he's on for P7 in the fast slap. That'd be a great recovery from him. Nick, actually, what's more concerning is Nick. Nick's now got nine seconds of penalties. Sarge, Sarge could well get Nick for P6, because Big Wardy Hell at P5, I think Nick could be in trouble to drop behind Sarge. in the range yet but he's, he's close be, yeah. he's yeah, about yeah. 3.6 seconds away with a, with a lap and a half to go uh, no I didn't either well, there you go he's, he's got about a two and a half no he's got about half a second to find yep if my maths is correct half second to point six a second over the next lap and a half of course as he's customary with Jay Sash his lap sorry his, his ERS light is flashing away and there he is yes. at full send desperate to try and find anything yeah, I've heard he's got uh, one or two customer cards in in Amsterdam. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nick BT. Um, oh, what's happened there? I think he's pitting. Nick's in the pits. Uh, yeah, that and that kind of ends our little question over whether Sarge is going to catch him or not. That's now uh, just he's he's done it. So, um, so yeah, that's that's that. Yeah, uh, Freddy up, up into the. Freddy's the points, yep. Point, point paying positions. That's a great performance from him. It is indeed. Now then, Sam Flan, he's had a bit of a flawless, easy race, really, but behind him, the action has been never ending. Um, Airways Damalek still fighting out behind the Fox and not finding a way through right now. Fox showing all the cunningness that developed a championship purge push last season. And he's again this season pushing for a championship. And Sam Flan, it looks like he's not pushing down this back straight. He's lost a lot of time in this lap. He's just taking it co he's casually. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to take the flag. He doesn't want a mistake. Can't fault that. But here we go. Round for the final time. Round the club corner complex. And across the line will come Sam Flan. That's another victory in what is a potential mm. title winning season. Will he take the flag in the season? We'll wait and see. Fox P2. This is how championships are won and battled. Consistent podium finishes. Damalek, three. P3, rounding up the podium. He'll be happy. Airways, he'll be gutted with that penalty, dropping into fourth. But still, that is a great performance. By the way, Sarge on the last lap did catch and pass Boothy. Um, yep. Bit takes P5 across the line. He'll be thrilled with that P5 finish. Sarge oh, yeah. P6. I think that P6 is the fastest lap after a lap one collision and pit stop. He'll be thrilled. Jackster takes P7. Eight for Boothy, who dropped off at the end. Freddy takes P9. Smith yep. with the final point of the day in P10. Jay Murr is going to take P11. P17, what a starting stint he had. And then it all just mm. fell apart for him after the first eight or nine laps. Yeah, I think he hit too much uh, tyre wear at one point and he just lost it, yeah. Real shame. He comes home. P12. Ghost Rider and Monster still battling out. Ghost Rider's got back ahead of Monster, we've seen. They will round out the grid. P13 and P14. And that, everyone, is your lot. Who is your driver of the day today, Mr. Ant? Um... First of all, I'd like to congratulate everyone because uh, nobody's actually DNF'd through a big crash or whatever. Yeah. And there's, there hasn't been a single safety car, so kudos to everyone. Good for, job. For, for staying on track, even though there have been one or two spins, everybody stayed on track, so well done to everybody for that. Um, so many drivers had a good uh, a good race in that, in that sense, though. We have Jade Sarge, who, who managed to gain some positions despite his first... Uh, his first lap incidents. Yeah. Um, great recovery. Damanek in P3 and Bit in P5. Those are great performances. I, I think. Um, great shot. Great Damanek in P3 is a, a good shout because he, he had a bit of a different strategy, a weaker strategy. Yeah. He was banking on a safety car and he still made it work for a P3. He did. Um, he did. I think it's a very good race from the Polish driver. 
it was a great race from him and you're right fair dink and where it counts for him that was a great performance and a great podium with an alternative strategy that he nearly nearly managed to get a p2 from um obviously they're just rounding out the finishes there obviously commiserations to fanning nick bt dondage captain nibs scotch ninja and of course single track for their dnfs respectively today huge shame of course um I, I think we should give Damalek the drive of the day. He's had a great drive today. And whilst there's been a huge lot of movers and shakers in the grid today, he's mm. he's had a great drive. It's been impressive. Yeah. Congratulations again to our winner, Sam Flan, and notable mention Jay Thide for his fastest lap and recovery drive, of course. Don't forget to tune in. Ring uh, we'll be racing again in just fifteen minutes for the elites here. And they will be hosted, as we said, by Connor and Simba, who will be giving you some delightful commentary. Hopefully, we will have no delays or issues in that session. Hopefully, no more glitches. Thank you, EA and Codemasters, for those issues. Yes. Have a delightful evening, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos and stuff. And Well, yeah, have a good night. ta -ra. Round two of Desplan. Desplan. <laughs>